Overhauling your engine is a big and costly undertaking, and we know that choosing the right kit for your engine can sometimes be difficult. Different engines can use different components, even within the same model. You might notice that of the pistons in the DD15 kit. In this video, we're talking about the different piston types and why they've changed over time. Here at Highway & Heavy Parts, our team of experts can help you find the right rebuild kit for your engine so you're not wasting time and money on the wrong parts. You might be wondering what symptoms can indicate that it's time to overhaul your DD15. Some things you should keep an eye out for include excessive blow-by, poor performance, poor fuel mileage, rough running, and oil consumption. Blow-by is one of the biggest indicators that it's time for an engine overhaul. Blow-by is the amount of gases that pass the pistons and piston rings. Excessive blow-by, where more gases are allowed to escape because of piston and piston ring wear, can cause a higher rate of oil consumption. Other causes of blow-by might be turbo issues, worn valve guides, or problems with your cylinder head. The main job of the compression ring is to seal the gas above the piston, and the lower ring is the oil control ring. The rings are attached to the piston and slide up and down in the cylinder. The cross hatch is the machining marks on the cylinder that allows the piston rings to seal. This is what makes the finish on the liner so important. The piston ring and liner seat themselves together and work together to create a seal. Every time the piston comes up and compresses the air, we rely on the piston rings to seal the air above the piston. When fuel is injected into the cylinder, it causes an explosion and forces a piston back down. But we're asking the piston ring to seal the compression and to seal the oil. That's why a re-ring kit will reuse the pistons if they're in good shape, but we won't reuse a liner or ring set. Those are nearly always going to be worn out. When you start to get excessive blow-by, it likely means that the ring can no longer hold the compression above the piston. That's when you'll really start to see problems. Pistons have had to change through the years to meet the different demands and changing engines. Both cast and forged pistons have been around for quite a while. When we started to get into the EGR engines, we started to see that the one-piece forged steel piston was out. Prior to that, we saw a lot of aluminum pistons, but then manufacturers realized the pistons needed to be stronger to keep up with the demands of the engine. So then they moved to a steel crown and aluminum skirt. Those pistons evolved into the one-piece forged steel pistons, which we typically see in the EGR engines, like the 14-liter Detroits, C15 Acerts, C13 Acerts, Cummins ISX and the DD15s. More recently, the piston material has changed again to a friction welded steel. That's because the emissions requirements were seeing higher pressures and temperatures in the engines, which require stronger pistons. The EGR system is used to cool the temperatures, but in the end, the engine is trying to burn exhaust gas under higher pressures and temperatures to come out cleaner. Everybody had to increase the compression ratio to change the piston, to squeeze it tighter, to get it to fire cleanly. So when pistons couldn't handle it, the first move was from a one-piece aluminum to a two-piece, then to a one-piece forged steel piston, and then finally to the friction-welded one-piece piston. If you're looking for an overhaul kit for your DD15, Highway & Heavy Parts can help make sure you're getting exactly what you need. The type of piston you need is dictated by your engine's manufacturing date, so it's important to ensure that you're getting the right one when you order the rebuild kit. That's why we sell the same pistons in our kits as the OEM does. Our pistons have evolved right along with them. With some aftermarket companies, you don't know what you're getting out of the box, but we use the same technology as the OEM, so you know you're going to be getting a piston that works on your engine. There are only a handful of piston manufacturers out there, so in most cases, we're actually getting our pistons from the same supplier as the OEM. We only source from the most reputable manufacturers. You don't have to worry about whether the piston is right material for your engine. We're sticking with what the OEM is using to make sure you're getting the best quality parts. If they're using a forged steel piston, then so are we, and you'll be getting them fast. When you call for a DD15 overhaul kit from Highway & Heavy Parts, not only will you be talking to our team of experts who can help make sure you're getting the kit with the right components for your engine, you'll also have access to our huge inventory of parts. You won't have to wait as long to get your parts, meaning you can get back and running sooner. Many of our kits and components we can get to you in two days or less in most cases. Don't sacrifice quality to get the best price possible. We have it all right here. The best value, high quality replacement parts backed by an industry leading warranty. 
Our mission is to take the risk out of buying diesel engine parts for our customers. So if you're looking for OEM quality, affordable diesel engine parts with expert advice on the other end of the line, we're here to help. If you have any questions about DD15 rebuild kits, you can call me or any of our other ASC certified parts technicians at 844-447-1453. Or you can chat with us online at highwayandheavyparts.com. Be sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button on YouTube and Facebook to stay up to date on all the news and information from Highway and Heavy Parts. From diagnosis through delivery, we're Highway and Heavy Parts.